Hello everyone, welcome to today's HTML CSS programming and this is one of the first videos that I'm going to be creating. First, to begin with, we're going to make a glass of water or a coffee mug if you prefer to and this is just two-dimensional but we can always go around it as we learn more in the following videos. So I created a glass HTML file. I'm also going to create another one, styles.css. And let's get started with HTML file. And that's going to be pretty easy setup, but let me go to settings real quick. Change the font size to 30 something. All right. So let's close our HTML tag. And we're going to go through adding some metadata. Actually, I'm not going to add a whole lot. One is to connect the style CSS. Two is to make sure we have content that's going to enable the width that equals the device size or the screen size so we'll see that Is done, but we have to close it. And now this page is going to respond just like this one. So if I have a smaller screen or a bigger screen, it's going to separate them. Or if I add more cups, it's going to fit them inside the first column. And then I want them to go to next line and then continue adding more cups. And you're going to see that. Let's add our body. And inside of here, you don't need to do a whole lot, but I'm just going to create our div class. And I'm not adding any containers as a parent container, but this is just container, and that is a class from container small. I'm just making this up, so you can um, make up as you wish, but I have a plan to do this, and I want to call this one the left class. And then that's going to be the one on the left that you can see. And I'm using the left only to do one minor change. Actually, not on left, but I'm going to use it on the right. You see this handle? I just move it to the right hand side. So um, that's the pretty much only reason why I have what I have. And we're going to add one more thing inside. Why I added inside? Think of this container small as this container right here. And then this handle is our div here. And we can say cup handle. We don't need to add anything in here. And that's pretty much it. But we're going to add one more. So it's just the same thing over again. So I'm just going to copy. But this one is the right. That's right. But that is still container, container small. But it's the right one that you see on the right. OK. Now. We're going to go to our CSS. Let's split this down. So we can see the class names right here. I'm going to start off adding a background color. Let's 
fill with coral. And in the meantime, we can open this as a live server. And if you are not using it, live server is just one of the extensions you probably have seen it, or you can just add it to your extensions list. Okay, now background color. And I'm going to use the Flexbox and let me show you the website. It's just going to help me out use columns in the orders vertically or horizontally and I'm going to use just the flex option I'm not going to go get into so much detail maybe we can look through justify content so if you go to w3 flex link you will find all this yourself and we, we might be using this one and this one so let's go and add display flex and that there's nothing going to be happening here because we didn't add anything just yet so if you look at it but you will see what i mean as we go through now let's work on the container small and i'm not going to say left or right because i want both of them to have the cup body so, which is why I'm just going to say container small. And this one is going to be just like in the example, we can use some sort of bluish color. Let's use aqua. And you will not see anything just yet because we need to give it borders and width and height and so and so. You will see just a minute. So let's decide the width. And I tried it a few times just so you know you can also try this. And the cup size are 250 pixels, the one that I have in this example. And height is 300 pixels. But you can obviously change these values to make it your own and play with it. And let's give it a border. But this border, I don't want it to be like sharp edges. So I'm going to say border radius. And the top part is 20 pixels, like you see the top edges on the left and right. And they both are 20 pixels. And at the bottom, we have more curve here. And that was 80 pixels for both sides. And again, you can change these numbers and play with it. And as you can see, we have our bodies showed up here. Now, we said display flex, right? And you see how they are side to side. We just want to give them some space. So that's when the justify content will come in. And we can just say, uh, give them enough space. So we're just gonna say justify content. And as you can see, there's a lot of options, but I'm going to use either space around if you want to put them on either ends of the page, left and right, you can use the space between. But I just need to separate them, as you can see. That's that. Or let's say if you want to do space between, it will be on the two edges, left and right, as you can see. But we don't need to do space between. Space around does the trick that we want. All right. Now, this is the container small. And then we now need to give it some padding. And let's do 20 pixels. 
and has grown into the size that we want it now. All right. And then about the border, one more thing. We have the white color here or light gray. So we might as well get something like that. Let's make it five pixels, solid, and light, gray, or cyan, whatever. Okay. Doesn't exactly look like the first example, but still, you got the idea. The first example is 10 pixels, so if we make it 10 pixels, you can see it's more like it. So you can play with the two. Want to make it dotted? I don't know how it's going to look like on the thing. Say this is the. This is not for the cut, but just so you know, there is that option, and there's a couple more that you can try. Now, we're going to get to cup handle. One, I'm going to put it on the left, one, I should put it on the right. But initially, let's add it to the left. And then left and you can see what I mean let's use the cup handle they both are the same class so it's gonna automatically add it to both right so it's called cup handle now the cup handle does have height and width and its radius and so on and so on and you have to play with the numbers to get them right. But remember, this div is inside this one. So just to get a feeling of it, let's add a width and height, 50 pixels. And you can, again, change these numbers. And so is height, also 50 pixels. And then Let's add a border and that, let's make it the same size, 10 pixels, solid. Let's make it black initially and then it's easy to, well, as you can see, they, they are inside our div. And the way you can get them out, so for example, you can try this if you search up, say left and say minus 100 pixels and you expect it should work right nope it cannot work uh, due to the fact that it requires position so you need to teach this one actually it showed up right here position relative and now you can see it moved just outside if you do absolute and see this Absolute is not the one we prefer to do on this one, as you can see. We just need relative because we are moving it outside the cup area. Now, let's also push it down a little bit. So we can, we just said left is 100 pixels and we can say bottom also 50 pixels just like we said that and as you can see it moved it up and what if I put minus and exactly it's gonna move it down now we can do some adjustments here but let's just add the do you see the edges are sharp I don't like that I'm just going to use the same thing I used for the radius that you saw here. And let's do thirty pixels all sides. As you can see now we've got a circle. And if you play with this, you will find the shape that you want. And I think I like 20 pixels, it's just fine. 
but the size is kind of too small. So actually it's relatively good, but we can make this height a little bit, let's say 70 pixels. Maybe that's better. And you can play with this height and width to change the box size. Now that seems like it for the handle, but we have one last task to do. We're gonna change this one. Also light grayish color. Here it is. Actually, let's use the same color as this one. Let's cyan. Let's cyan. So they match. And if you want to play a couple pixels in between, you can line them up. Just like this example that you see, they line up right, overlap one another. But I'm going to let you do that one because it's just playing with the numbers. Now let's go to the last part of the task. Uh, we added left and right. And now we can see what we can do with the left and right. I'm not going to do nothing on the left just yet, but I'm just going to add it right there. And then let's call the right. And on this one, I'm going to apply the transform. And we just need to scale X because uh, this handle on X uh, and it's just going to move to the right. So think of moving the cup slowly to the right. So if you do give minus degree, it's, it's going to invert it and move it to the, the other side. Simple as that. And as you can see, we have two cups. And they don't exactly look like the ones that I made initially, but they also have margin zero from the top. So you can play with that and add a margin to it. But I'm not worrying about that right now. Let's add a couple more. And the way you can add is just copy this div. Let's add one left and one right. So we have left, left, right, and then right. Now as you can see, they are squeezed up. That's the problem. If I make the page bigger, that is good. But we forgot to do something about this. So we're going to come back to cup handle. We gave padding 20 pixels on this one. Let's also give padding of 20 on this one. Now you can see that that's still not good. So we're going to do something with the lineup. And that's the last thing that we want to do. If you have more than what we can fit in the first column, I want you to mow them down. Mow them down. You don't need to squeeze them in through. So we're going to just add one more thing to the body. And you can also find it in W3 website. And that's called Flex Wrap. So Flex Wrap will help us do that. All right, now flex wrap added that, but our handles are a little off, probably due to the padding that we added. So let's get rid of that. And now let's make it bigger. Inside of here, we have the four cups. If we do this, now as you can see, there is no space between. So that has to do with spacing and we can do this. Add a margin, all sides for the container small. So let's add a margin of 50 pixels, all sides. There you go. And there are a bunch of options for the margin. I will make another video for that. 
and that's pretty convenient to move your objects around the page and let's make it bigger and there in a column because of the flex flex box and now they are wrapped and that's the final step of the video feel free to ask questions and let's solve them together and that will be all for tonight and until next time bye now